This is how you read the balance sheet. We are the exclusive owners of a shoe factory that we started on January 1. The left hand side are the assets. The right hand side is what we call the liabilities. On the left hand side we have four categories. Tangible fixed assets, intangible fixed assets, financial assets and current assets. Back to tangible assets. Those are physical assets that are used to operate the business for a longer period. In our company, the only tangible asset that we have is a factory that we bought for 2000. Category number two, intangible assets, are not physical assets. For example, in our case, a patent of a shoe. Since we bought the patent for 1000, this intangible asset is valued at 1000 on our balance sheet. Category number three, a financial asset is also a not physical asset, but its value is derived from a financial contractual claim that exists for a longer period. A good example is a loan. In our shoe factory, the 1000 represents a loan to our supplier in the form of a debt contract. And the supplier needs to pay us back this amount plus interest in a number of years. The last category is what we call current assets. Assets that is cash or will turn into cash within a period of one year. So if you look at our balance sheet, the sum of 4000 is represented by inventory of leather and rubber materials needed to manufacture our shoes. The size of the total assets is then 8000. The right hand side of the balance sheet represents the liabilities. In our case we distinguish three types of liabilities. Interest paying debt, non-interest paying debt and equity. On the right hand side you find a loan of 2000. This is a mortgage that we used exclusively to fund the factory. Remember that we need to pay interest on our mortgage. Hence we call this an interest paying debt obligation. Furthermore you see an amount of 1000 that is nothing more than credit that we need to pay to our suppliers that actually sold us the leather and rubber materials that we needed to manufacture our shoes. The final category is equity. In our case, we invested in this company 5,000 of our own savings money to get the business started. This is what we call owner's equity. The total size of the liabilities is 8,000. And this is how you read a balance sheet.